Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Way With Me Travel Podcast. Your journey begins with us. It's November the 4th, 2018, and I am joined by a lady who zip lines from one vacation to another. She always makes sure to donate to her local bar, <laughs> saving the world one mile traveled at a time. The Superman, Superwoman of travel, Jamie Vigiano, my good friend. Hi. How are you? I'm you doing good. good. I'm good. So good today. Tomorrow's Monday. Yeah, Monday. Yeah, what day Monday. is it? Yeah, yeah I'm just, my days are so off, and with this like daylight savings, I don't understand. I just want to do away with it. Yeah, so I totally want to do it. It's pitch black at four thirty here. It's insane. Like I don't even want to go out. I feel like it's nine o'clock at night. It's four thirty in the afternoon. I don't. Right want about to now is when I become a bear and like yeah. li- literally and figuratively. Yeah. I just want to hibernate, hibernate. and then too, too, I'm just a cranky mess because I'm like, ugh, I just want to go. But I, All I think we're like gonna... March. Does everyone want to see Jamie get sad? I think I'm gonna go to the beach on Tuesday. It's supposed to be 85 here. Someday I'm gonna live in South Carolina, and I will be going to the beach. Well, actually, no, I'll be in the mountains. <laughs> I'll be four hours from the coast, yeah. so I can go to my lake. There. I go to my lake. I'll have a pool. That's a nice lake up that way. Oh nice, really nice lake. Oh that, that country is gorgeous up there. It's beautiful. Yeah. How was I mean, your yeah. uh, How was your Halloween? It was good. It was good. We had a lot of trick or treating, a lot of candy. Um, yeah. I did not dress up this year. I was just so kind of like over it. But the kids had a great time. Beautiful weather. So yeah, it was the perfect day. Yeah, we had perfect fun. Day. We stayed. We stayed in the neighborhood. So we live in a big neighborhood, and so it was just like yeah. I, I carried a book bag to uh, to pour yeah. rice stuff into because she would fill up her bucket and dump mm-hmm. it in there. We had pillowcases. We do pillowcases here. See, I love that. That's old school. That's like yeah, it is it old back. school. We have pillowcases. Yeah. It's so much fun. I still have my my pumpkin bucket from when uh-huh. I was a kid, from like nineteen. My mom bought it like nineteen eighty one. Ninety ninety four. And it's the original. Yours is ninety four. What? Oh, that's trying to help Are you, you there. Young? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no I'll just figure out the math. Like nineteen eighty. Yeah. So it's like thirty something years old. Is the coolest thing. And right. my kids used it um, last year, and then. They said it wasn't cool anymore to have the pumpkins because they don't really hold that much candy. So we went to p- pillowcases this year. Gotcha. Which is fine. Yeah. So yeah, then, we had fun because we trick or treated at Disney at the yeah, at Mickey's Not So Scary. And then we came back, trick or treated here. So mm-hmm. we, we had a good Halloween. And then the day after that is my wife's birthday. So so yeah. like that had a awesome. weekend. So busy. Uh, yeah. I want to thank you for um, postponing our recording. I'm getting over yeah. a cold. Yeah. So uh, it's the season. Yeah. If I start coughing or anything, my bad. Uh, yeah, but it will, uh, But I tell you what, you. Whenever we talked about today's mm-hmm. journey, today's episode, yeah. what we wanted to talk about, you brought up something I'd never known about, and I started diving yeah. into it. Yeah. And the more I dove into it, the more interested I became. And mm-hmm. that's G Adventures Travel. This is one of my favorite companies, and I get so excited because it's one of those companies that is not just travel they're literally changing the world. And I, when I, when I look at, you know, our job as a travel agent, travel agents are really in the business of changing people's lives, you know, through the power of travel and G adventures pulls all of that together. And, you know, you come to the, you know, to us, we book your trip and then you go on a G adventure where you are literally changing not only your life, but people's lives and you're touching you know, you're touching people's lives and, you know, we'll get into how they actually do this. And it's really, really cool. And it all starts with the founder of this company, you know? So do you know his story? I don't want you to give me a little background. Uh, God, Justin is the coolest thing. So this guy named Bruce back, um, I believe it's like, you know, the early 1990s living in a garage, an apartment garage. Mm -hmm. And I think he was in Toronto, you know, has nothing. He's like, you know what? I'm just going to go backpack through Europe backpacks all over Europe, done with that. He's like, you know what, let me go. So he goes to South America. He's backpacking through the Amazon and he gets lost in like the rainforest jungle. He's lost and he's roaming around. This is like such a magical story and it's true. And he comes upon um, like local locals living with nothing, completely off the grid. They've never even seen like another person before who wasn't part of their tribe. Like it's just, it's just insane. He ended up being accepted and he stayed with this family for a couple of days and they finally got him to civilization and he comes home and he's like, I got it. I met so many people. I, you know, I, it changed my life. How can I, how can I do this? What can I do? He decided to start a tour company, Justin, and he maxed out two credit cards to do it. He had nothing. He gets two credit cards, maxes them out. He has two tours now that he's going to do Mm-hmm. And since then, it's grown to 
oh my gosh, they have like over, I think it's like 700 tours now on oh, all seven yeah. continents. Yeah. On all seven continents. He employs over 1,500 people all over the world. And get this, it's still privately owned. He makes sure every single thing, he'll pop up on a tour. Like he's that down to earth. And I just think, and it's all about giving back. And he has a nonprofit and he does a lot of, um, you know, he built schools for people. He does hospitals. You know, all of the money that you spend on this trip, a portion goes to their nonprofit, Planet Terra. And I right. just think, I just love companies that give back. And this is one of those ways where you're, you know, these are really like off the grid tours. This isn't, you know, like Globus and um, Perlo tours, all of those that takes it to another level. These, you're going to get your hands dirty and depending right. on the tour that you're, you know, that you're taking, you know, it really will change your life. It really does. And, um, one of the things that I love about it, they're such a global company that the people on your tours, I think they said it's the amount of Americans on the tours are only about 5%. Yeah. And it's literally global. So you're getting to travel with people from all over the world. And there's such small tours where it's 12 to 16 people. So you're really getting, you know, all of these different cultures. And we've, you know, we've talked about that about other tours, but this, it really is true here because, you know, the, um, the American people, it's, it literally is only like 5% on their tours. So you're getting, you know, and if you take one of the family tours, your kids are getting to meet other kids from, you know, maybe they're from Italy, maybe they're from Turkey, maybe they're from, you know, China, Japan, like all over the world. I just think it's the, it's the coolest company. I really love it. So, and I love, I just love the whole product, the people who work there. Um, the GPS tour guides are amazing. It's just, right. I just love it. It's just a cool car. I could talk, you know, forever about it. I love it so much. I'm, I love this. So, Look, I'm taking know, a night off, so man. Cool. I'm sitting back, relaxing, having a drink. This is great. Because this is uh, like one of my favorite tour companies. I, could, I literally it's... love it. And I hope it shows because I, I would love, you know, I have a lot of clients who've done it and there is there, you know, Oh, they always come back and it's, we have to do another, we have to do something right. else, you know, focus on a different one, another one. And there are so many different, you know, styles of tours that, you know, you could 700 tours. I mean, it's, you know, you could just take one you know, and for the rest of your life. I mean, it's so cool. I'm and they're always adding going. things and I know. Here's I know. the thing. Whenever I started digging in this as somebody who's new to this, mm -hmm. uh, the one thing I love is the aspect of, not only are you traveling, but you're, mm -hmm. you're immersing yourself into a culture. So no matter oh, where you pick, you are not yeah. staying at the Ritz. You're, you're getting not at a hotel. Like said, yeah. And you are a hundred percent learning about this culture yep. and, and what they do. And the cool part about this and something that I love that they do is unlike a lot of other of these, um, all inclusive vacations that you can book, mm -hmm. this breaks up these vacations yeah. depending on, uh, not only your age, but also depending on your activity level and what yeah, you're looking absolutely. to do. So yeah. here's what I was thinking we do tonight, Jamie. I thought we uh -huh. might might dig in a little bit to mm -hmm. a couple of the different classifications they have yeah, for their definitely. travel. And yeah. uh, let's start let's start with active. Let's start with okay. some of their active tours, and let's talk a little bit about what they do with okay. the people who are looking for active tours. So right, so quick overview. Um, G Adventures has um, ten. Um, different styles of tours. They just added their newest one, Wellness. We'll get into that later. The active um, tours, they are, they're really active. They're challenging. They're demanding. They are go, mm -hmm. go, go. You're climbing, um, you know, you're trekking, you know, Kilimanjaro. You're, you're doing, you know, the hike up the Inca, um, the Inca trails at Machu Picchu. You're doing, you know, adventure and zip lining and, you know, hardcore things in like Honduras. This is not for someone who, you know, doesn't have any activity in their lifestyle. Right. You have to be active. You have to, you know, have endurance and have, you know, the, the go to do these things. You know, you have to get up early. Like this is literally like, yeah, you're, you're hardcore. out there to see the world hardcore. And yeah. the one thing I love that they do is that they put ratings on the level mm -hmm. that you're going to be taking. So you could look at all their active, you know, for someone like me, okay, yeah. I'm sem semi-active. I'm not going to go out and win a decathlon, you know, yeah. or I'm not going to be able to climb mm -hmm. a mountain, but I can keep up with most people. Yeah. And uh, maybe I can do like a mid-range mm -hmm. activity level and I would enjoy that. Yeah. I like that they have that designation they have that yep. you know quality that qualification you need mm -hmm. to meet to do that right tour. and you know when our clients call us we can really break down and figure out what tour would be best for them you mm -hmm. know if i know that you have um you know some sort of you know um a disability where it's going to hinder you from you know trekking up to kilimanjaro then i won't sell you an active tour we'll do something maybe like a classic tour which really hits on all the highlights 
Um, but it's more of a, you know, light to moderate walking, you know, something like that, you know, something well, you more what, slower pace. Talking about active tours. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I love that they do these, yeah. these qualifications. We don't want to spend too much time so on cool. any of these cause we want to hit as many yeah, as we can. So many Let's do this. Look, nothing says better than mm -hmm. watching a video about Definitely. this. So let's, let's, let's go to a short video and awesome. let's check out this short video on active tours. Perfect. It's amazing. It's so, see now that's that's the kind of vacation I like is being able to t to do something that's yeah. active with your family, with your friends, with your significant yep. others, and and to go and have that. Yeah. I, it's and it's just, different it's experiences. So cool. Yeah. And what's really cool about it, you know, you touched on it a minute ago where you said, you know, we're not staying at the Ritz. G Adventures. When I said, you know, that they give back, they're giving back in ways where they're not booking you at, you know, the Hilton. They're not booking you like mm -hmm. you said the Ritz. They're booking you in locally owned hotels and resorts that money is going back directly into these communities that money is going right back into you know the locals the locals pockets yep. and you know these are the things that make a change and when they're taking you you know some of the meals are included when they're taking you to dinner when they're taking you to breakfast you're going to local family owned restaurants you know where you can meet the people meet the owners of the restaurants you know you're not going to these big you know name brand restaurants and that's what i love about this that they're making an effort to give back to the communities to make a difference in these people's lives all while changing your life and i just think it's it's just amazing no 100 percent. but i tell you what yeah. you, you know you mentioned it with going back on active tours and mm -hmm. you said that maybe it's not for everybody that's you know yeah. that's one of the things is uh people look at eh, mm -hmm. i really don't i don't see my vacation as yeah hiking, um, swimming, backpacking, yeah, uh, something more you know, relaxed. Yeah. I want to do something a little more classic. Mm -hmm. So let's move on to the classic yep. tours that G adventures, Perfect. uh, gives and tell us a little bit about what we're looking at when you're mm -hmm. talking about classic tours. So, yeah. So the, like I said, the classic tours really, you know, are a mix of all of the tours and you can pick and choose different adventures and you, you know, you're going to India, Iceland, uh, Italy, um, Peru, all of these different incredible places around the world. You could even, you know, go to Antarctica and do, you know, it's mm -hmm. just, it's just amazing all these different places. And like I said, it's really, you know, it's light to moderate. It's more of a slower pace. It's not go, 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 but you're still being able to see everything and do everything. And you're hitting on all of the major tourist attractions. And then because you're such a small group and you're, you know, some of the groups are eight people. Most of them are 12 to 16, um, um, eight to 12 people, whatnot. But with a small group, you're able to travel to different location destinations when, you know, versus, you know, a Globus tour with us 40 people. And I love Globus. Right. It's a different demographic. It's a different tour completely. And, you know, it's just, it's just, I don't know. It's just so cool of being in a small group. Hopefully well, you like everybody. Not just that, but with this company, you know, they're, they will modify because it is a small yep. group. You yeah. don't have 40, 40 opinions saying, I'd like mm -hmm. to do this, I'd like to do this, I'd like to do this. Yeah. When you have eight people and uh -huh. if, if all eight are going, you know what, we'd really like to spend more yeah. time here than here. They'll modify on the fly. They'll say, yeah. okay, boom, we'll just go ahead and change this up and we'll do this. If that's what you guys are wanting to do. Um, I also love the fact that they have, um, mm -hmm. uh, with, with the classic tours, you kind of get, kind of get a mix you know you get the highlights but you also get the cultural yeah. aspect of it and you also get some of the active experiences that maybe mm -hmm. you would get doing those active uh, yeah. um, vacations so you're getting a little bit of mm -hmm. everything with the classic travel I think yeah, I really, it's really think cool this company I mean like I said the more <laughs> you mm -hmm. sent it to me yeah and the more I dove into this is like mm -hmm. wow this is this is it's genius. really cool it is genius. genius and yeah I mean and it's like I said it's one of the few companies that are giving back um, you know, to the local communities so much that um, Jane Goddell, um, they have a collection of tours and she is like the forefront of um, preservation and everything. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they have over 30 wildlife tours with them and it really brings you closer to the land yeah. where you're doing, you know, the, um, you know, you're getting up close to the, you know, the gorillas in Uganda, you're doing, um, you know, sailing up the Amazon river and, you know, meeting the giant tortoises. It's just those kind of experiences. And they also, um, t uh, partnered with, um, national geographic. Yes. Thank you. It's just yeah. like a season. 
they uh, National Grave uh, Geographic about three years ago, um, they were looking for an amazing company to partner with where they have an extremely high end brand, National mm -hmm. Geographic, and they wanted something more budget friendly and something that they could still offer such an incredible experience, but not at their high price tag. So they found G Adventures and G Adventures what, with all of their local connections and everything to their locally owned hotels and resorts and whatnot, they were able to have an incredible partnership with such an incredible, you know, it's an iconic company, National Geographic. So to have that name tag attached to G Adventures just means that G Adventures is right up there. It really brings them to another level. So yep, another uh, type of tour. And like, like I said before, nothing says mm -hmm. uh, these tours, like seeing videos about it. Yeah, so let's sure. check out this quick video awesome. about the classic vacations yeah. that G Adventures offers. Okay. Absolutely amazing. I, you know, every video I see, I went down a rabbit <laughs> hole watching YouTube videos at one yeah. point. Watching Don't stuff. you want to like go now, like book it? Like every wait time we get we, to the family ones. Well, it's that's so That's the cool. problem with this new aspect of us doing this YouTube <laughs> yeah. uh, show and also the podcast. The podcast was a lot of fun. I enjoyed the it podcast. Is. But now you have like the visual. But now it that I have the visual level, aspect, really I'm does. like, hold on a second here. I'm, I'm one to travel and get this. I but know. the one thing that I think about when I think about mm -hmm. G Adventures is, you know, I'm like, man, active sounds great. Mm -hmm. I like getting out yeah. seeing the world in that way. Classic yep. is my kind of travel because I like to see the world that way, but also mm -hmm. like a nice drink in my hand and put my feet up yeah. from time to time. Yep. But I am also, I have a family yeah. and I am wanting to uh, see the world with mm -hmm. my family, you know, my wife, yeah. my daughter, and it's no, had those too. lifetime experiences. Yep. And so I know a lot of people out there saying, you know what, I want to travel with my family too. And that's mm -hmm. something G Adventures offers yes. is the family vacations. Yes. Yeah, so even with this, um, all of G Adventure tours, they have, um, they do tell you, you know, you know, they try to make the kids ages 12 and up. Mm -hmm. With the family adventures, they do allow ages six and up. If there is a tour that really fits the needs of your family, but say, you know, you want to do, um, say you want to do the active tour and your kid is just hardcore, you know, and he's only 10, give us a call because G Adventures will never say no. They will see who else is on the tour, see if there's a better tour at a different date that might fit better with your 10 year old and they'll make it happen yep. because they want your family to be able to experience this. And you know, and like I said, it depends on the child. So if you do have a younger child and, you know, you want to do something that has a 12, age, 12 year age um, tag on it, just let, let us know and, yeah. you know, we'll work it out. So, and you know, the whole thing with me is when you, when people think of adventure mm -hmm. and they think of taking vacations, you know, like we've traveled to Europe, we've done stuff like that, but mm -hmm. now you're talking about taking you and your kids and, you know, to Tanzania, Thailand, yeah. Galapagos, I mean, Peru, yeah. like all over this place. Yeah. And not only that, but you are seeing the cultures there. I mean, the one right. thing they do is they take three to four families, depending on the amount of people, yep. uh, you know, maximum about 12 people yeah. and, and put them together. And then they go and mm -hmm. you see inner workings of these cultures right. from all around the world. I mean, it really, really does take mm -hmm. you hands on inside these places. I, right. It's really, it really does. And it's like, you're not just, so like if you do um, one of the tours in India, for instance, mm -hmm. you're not just seeing all like the main sites. They're bringing you into these little villages where um, maybe the women in, in that town, you know, make the bracelets to sell. Yeah. You're going to sit there. You're going to learn how to do like, you know, the bracelets. You're going to learn how to do the basket weaving. Your kids are going to learn all these incredible things. And it's almost like they're living a day in the life of a child from India or, you know, from Turkey, wherever 100%. you're traveling to. And it really brings you into that. And a lot of them also, um, they could like in Italy, you could go to a working farm and these kids are going to go, you know, like milk the cows and things like that. And it's just those experiences that you don't get, you know, every in your everyday life, you know, and I just think it's, it's really, really special. It's, it's amazing. I mean, one of the things, there's a quote uh, on, on their website where a, a child was asked about his trip and he said, mm -hmm. you know, my memory from this trip was, in quotes, we went to this little village in Thailand where people grow their own mm -hmm. food. Our yeah. CEO showed us how to separate the rice from the husk mm -hmm. so it can be turned to food. It was cool to see how the food we ate got from the ground to our plates. Now, that's a memory that yeah. that 
child will have the rest of their right. life. And it's not like he's walking. Country. Yeah. He's not like walking through a boring museum, you yep. know, like dragging your kid through like the Sistine Chapel and how many paintings can we see? This is hands on life adventures. It's like those museums in your, in your local town. Um, you know, like the children's museums where everything is hands on and the kids go nuts and they actually learn something because, you know, it's there, it's hands on. Yep. So imagine having a hands on experience, like you said, in Indonesia or, oh, you know, in Colombia, in, you know, anywhere, Costa Rica, like any, any place where they travel to, it's just every tour, like I said, over 700 tours and they even do, you know, small boat cruises. Mm -hmm. These are just the coolest experiences that it's not even going to change your child's life. It's going to change your life. No, oh, forever. It, it, these are life changing trips. They really are. And just to uh, really just to are. drive it home, look here's a, here's an awesome yeah, video. I love family video. vacations. Awesome. I'm ready to book now. Let's go. All right. Let's I know. Go. My I'm family, done. your family. My let's do it. Flip out. My, but I want to do the local living tour. Yeah. So I'm, I want to, yeah. like, my kids are older. So yeah. Rocco is eight now. So eight, nine, ten. 11. All right. So I have four years. Fine. I'll do the family one. And then maybe in two years, I'll do it. I'll have G Adventures uh, say, okay, you can go. Because right. the local living, it's in the title. You're living like a local. Yeah. So my favorite one, the majority of the local living tours do take place in Italy. There are a couple, you know, other ones I'll let you know, just give us a call. We'll, we'll give you the information, but most of them do take place in Italy and you're getting to stay in the same local town for, you know, three, four nights out of your, you know, your eight day tour, whatever you're doing. And you learn to live like a local and you'll do day trips from your, say you're staying in a villa mm -hmm. and you'll do day tours in there. So you can go to Sorrento for the day Capri. Um, you can make lemoncello in one of the lemoncello factories in Sorrento, like literally right. pick the lemons from the trees and, you know, like start to finish and then do, you know, the tasting at the end, which if you've ever been, you know what I'm talking about. Like it is the most amazing experience. Um, and then you get to interact with the local families and, you know, they become part of your family where you're all making dinner together. You're, sitting down to a meal together. There's something really special about breaking bread with another family from another culture who are welcoming you, you know, into your home. And one of the cool um, farms, like I was saying, the Lemoncello farm, they actually converted a villa on their property. So you have your own private villa with your own bedrooms, bathroom, whatnot, each family. And then you go to the main house for all of these meals and you spend your time with these families. And, yeah. you know, you learn how to do like, you know, make pasta, make pizza, um, make wine. You know, See, it's just you're living there and well, that the you can't love, get it. You can't beat it. The thing I love yeah. about this too is you kind of hit, you kind of hit it with yeah. the fact that you're in one place for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. I like that aspect and it. also like the aspect too, that whenever you book this, you're not dead set on what you're going to be doing. So mm -hmm. when you're, let's say you arrive, you kind of have an open mind. I'm going to do whatever. Mm -hmm. They have certain things planned out, but then you're like, you know what? Down the street, I yeah. saw a winery that I'm really wanting to check mm -hmm. out. Well, they're going to work their best to get you there. Yeah, get, your you know, GPS is going to make that happen for you. And they're always with you. You're with your tour guide who is local. He's from that place. He's from that town. And he is with you. He or she is with you the entire time from the moment you get off of that airplane and whatever of the 700 like locations that you land in, your guide is there waiting to take you off of that plane. And what's so special about working with such a small group he literally knows your name three minutes into meeting you. Like he, he's right mm -hmm. there. He never leaves anything you want. He will make sure to help you with it. If there's like something, like you just said, if there's, you know, something you want to see and it's not on the tour, they're going to make it happen for you. Yeah, They're going to do anything, you know, to make that happen. And, you know, and your luggage is taken care of, you know, a few of your meals are included. It's just, everything is taken care of for you. Well, before we get too far into it because like i said there's so many great oh my god ones to i know and i really want to get to the marine i really want to get let's to the take cruises. a quick second and let's okay. check out a video on the local right, living cool. tours awesome All right. Where's my glass of wine? I'm ready. Where's my glass no, of wine? I want limoncello. I mean, what the wine? I want limoncello, and then All I right. want to go walk, you know, through Pompeii. It's so cool. It's perfect. It really uh, is. Yep, that's I, that's my thing. I want to do local living. 
you know, because everyone you said, it. Yeah. Well, go, go ahead. No, I was yeah, going to say ahead. everyone that I know, and I'm sure it's a dream. I feel like it's a very common dream that people have this bucket list fantasy of living in a foreign country. Right. And this is your way to do that for a few days where you're not buying a villa <laughs> mm-hmm. in Tuscany. Like you're, you're getting that experience to live right. in a foreign country for a few days where it's off the grid. You're not staying at like, you know, the Holiday Inn. You're mm-hmm. staying at someone's home. Yeah, you're, you, like I said, so you're and I think that's been, the, that's been the overall, mm-hmm. you know, with every single one of these tours is yeah. you are immersed in the culture. Yeah. And that's amazing. But I, I want to move on to, to my heart and where I am mm-hmm. being a, being a, a guy that yeah. lives on the coast. I live a few miles mm-hmm. from the ocean. The smell, the salt in the air, mm-hmm. uh, the, the marine tours it's insane. that you can do. It's insane. So the marine tours, literally, you will not find this anywhere else at all. And I've been doing this for 21 years. And the ships that they put together, they have five ships. That's it. They have five ships. And it's just these tours. Like the expedition ship is, you know, it's the Arctic. It's a, it's a, and, that's and the one for me. you're in this yeah. ship. Justin, this, this ship only holds like, I think it's um, like 20 people plus yeah, crew. Yeah. So you're on this tiny ship going through, you know, the Arctic Circle in this, it's just blows your mind. You're going to see the polar bears. You're going to see all these incredible experiences and this sells out. It's already sold out for 2019. They're booking 2020 now. I mean, that's because it's, you know, this, they only have one ship that goes to the Arctic. It's only holding 20 people. Think of how exclusive that is. It's unbelievable. And it's a once in a lifetime experience, literally a once in a lifetime experience because it just books so quickly. So booking for 2020 and that, and then the other one, you know, the Galapagos Islands. That's the one for me too. Which is on my bucket list. That one's even smaller. That's only about 16 people it holds. Mm -hmm. Um, Another like amazing, they do like the river cruises, um, which are, it's not like the huge barges, like, well, not huge, but like Viking holds like 120 people. This is another one that's holding 20, 23 people. And it's another one of those experience, you know, it's, you can't get that anywhere else. And then they have even smaller ships that only hold eight guests. This is literally, mm-hmm. you're renting your own private. That's it. You have a private yacht. yacht. I mean, Pretty this is your own yep. private. And the prices aren't even like astronomical. Not like it's no. not bad at all for what you're getting. And mm-hmm. those only sail. they do the Greek islands. Um, they do Thailand, they do Bali and they do what's the other one, Croatia. Mm-hmm. That's all they do. And I think in the future, you know, they keep growing. And what I love about G Adventures, they don't really take away any adventures. Like if something's not working, other tours will just, you know, get rid of it and they'll, they'll put something in its place. G Adventures, it is so rare that they take a tour away because it's not working. I can't remember the last time. They've changed the names, right. but they've never taken a tour. But that's why it's grown to over 700 different tours and it's growing and growing because their tours are so amazing. They just keep adding. Right. They just keep adding. And I think that's, you know, it speaks volumes for this company and they, they really do deliver a really powerful experience. Well, see, this is what I, if I had to pick, this would be my, this would be my pick because I love being on the water. I love being on the water. And And then to be able to see all these places that, you know, you only see in national geographic, you only see on TV. And these small ships, these major cruise lines, these massive mega ships that hold 6,000 people. You're not going to these places. You're not going to be able to, you know, when you're sailing, you know, the Greek islands and you look over, I would love to stop there. You're only eight people on this ship. All right, let's go. There's a private beach over there. Let's go. I mean, it's that, it's that special. Jump like in the ding. special, but it really is. Oh, it's, uh, like, it's so yeah, cool. Yeah, I, uh, I, I absolutely love it. Um, let's, uh, there's, there's one other thing we definitely yeah. want to hit before we uh-huh. move on to something else. But before we get to those, uh, let's uh, take this quick break and watch this video on the Marine Tours. Okay. Yep, I'm sold. Let's go. Let's on go. the boat. Cocktail in hand. Too. On the boat. So There's cool. the penguins over there. It. I don't even like cold and I would do it. I'd love it. I don't Let's like do you it. know why? Because it's literally like I said, I mean, you're you could literally go to the seven continents with this yeah. company. And who goes who goes there? G Adventures does. We can right. send you there. Like that. All you have to do is pack. 
That's well, how easy it is. You know, I, Jamie, you know this about me, okay? Yeah. And it kind of brings us to our next uh, thing. Mm-hmm. I like to live, as as uh, almost 40-something says, yeah. YOLO. Yeah. 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 YOLO. You only live once. And that you brings us to our next once. tours. Yeah. The 18 to 30-something tours. So I offer. actually, I, I, I'm actually turning 40 in April. So yeah. I literally have five months to go on to this, tour this 18 to 30 yeah. something tour because their cutoff is 39. So oh. m- my chance at this is literally like, because I'm, I'm not going to be able to do it, but you can. I got a few years left. Actually, I thought till, uh, till last week, Katie's birthday yeah. was on the first. And I told her, I said, Ooh, you're going to be uh, 35. She mm-hmm. said, no, I'm not going to be 34. So now you're not, you'd be 35 because you're a year younger than me. And I'm 36. She goes, no, you're not. You're 35. Oh my God! You don't know how old you are. I don't know. It's all. God, it's don't all make gro- yourself older. Don't it's make yourself. Especially together. when you want to go on this tour, you only have a couple years left. Like I'm, it, I won't be able to do this tour. Exactly, and that's that's oh. what they call now, or they did call right yeah. the YOLO tour. Yeah, and now it was the YOLO. It, it was you only live right. once, and they changed it. It's now called 18 to 30 something. 30 something. Right. And this is the cool. It is you know the millennials. It is such mm-hmm. a cool tour, and it really takes into that you know, the whole backpacking um, mindset. Like you, it's, you know, more of um, a budget friendly. It's less restrictive. It's, you know, a lot of free time. But again, with all of that free time, you're now connected with 16. Um, I think this, I think those tours are the same. It's like um, between 12 and 16 people. You're now connecting right. with these singles. Most of them are singles um, or friends traveling together. And you're connecting with these people all over the world. So even in your free time, you're going to look to your buddy and be like, hey, do you want to go, um, you know, surfing? Do you want to go catch a beer or something? And your GPS go- uh, tour guide is there, you know, to help you make the connections, to help you break the ice. And all of you are there for the same reason, to experience life, to experience this incredible tour and mm-hmm. everything that these amazing countries have to offer. And it really Travel connects people in a way that I don't think a lot of other things does. And oh, I agree. You know, it, it really is amazing. And it's just a great way to go and see these things. It really is. And what I love about all of G Adventures is that unlike other tour companies, they don't charge a single supplement fee, mm-hmm. which could be up to 200% of your ticket. They don't charge that. What they do, because it is such um, an exclusive tour and it's very limited um, availability because they keep everything small and very personalized. Um, they will uh, match you up with another um, person of the same sex and put you in a room together. But you have the opportunity to interact with this person before you go to make sure that you will get along. They want everyone to be happy. And I haven't heard any complaints with anyone um, being matched up with someone else. Right. And if there is something, you can switch rooms with someone else on the tour later on. Like if you meet someone, it's like, oh my God, this person um, is so cool. Like let's you know hang out more together. You can do that. You know, as long as it's the same sex, they really want to keep everything, um, you know, on that level. Um, And if you do want your own room, they just charge a single fee. It's not a 200, you know, percent supplement. It's just a fee. And I just think it's a great, a great alternative. Well, like to the, you know, like we, look, we've all been there. Yeah. You know, you're 18, you're in your early Mm -hmm. twenties, you know, you don't have a lot of money. And the one thing I love that they do with these 18 to 30 something tours Mm -hmm. is, they let you pick kind of what you want to splurge yeah, on. Like it's what so you chill. It's so less, resp- and like I said, it's less restrictive. And, you know, when I was 18, when I was graduating high school, I went and I bought, you know, the big, huge Europe book and it was $50 a day um, in Europe. And I had this entire three month backpacking trip planned. Everything was ready to go. Everything was planned out. I had to mm-hmm. cancel at the last minute um, because my friend couldn't go. And I'm like, I don't really, I don't really want to do it by myself. Um, so it got canceled, but if I had known that there was a tour like this with a bunch of 18, 19, 20, 30 years old, you know, that there was someone, you know, it, it gives you a level of security and safety, but you're still given the opportunity to be on your own. I wish yeah. I would have known about this. Um, actually this company wasn't around when I graduated high school. Right. <laughs> like Man, this, is the, more, this is the, but like, this is the uh, episode of was, aging Jamie. I know, I'm so old, <laughs> but if it was like, I would have, I would have done this in a heartbeat. Yeah. I really would have. It's just so cool. Yeah, very but, cool. I'll tell you what, there's so many great opportunities yeah. to, uh, to travel from active, classic family, yep. marine, the local living, and yeah. now the 18 to 30 something tours. Yeah. Uh, but that's not the, all these put together mm-hmm. don't even match the most important yeah. thing this company does. And before we talk about it, I want to mm-hmm. throw to a video to okay. talk a little bit about what they do for all these places you get to travel yeah. to. Yeah, it's amazing. 
At Planetera, we use tourism as a force for change. We develop initiatives that create opportunities to empower and inspire the lives of locals in Asia, Africa, and the Americas. Tourism is one of the world's largest economic engines, supporting 10% of all economic activity on the planet. In fact, for the 40 poorest countries in the world, tourism is the greatest source of foreign exchange, second only to oil. One initiative we're a part of is the development of a homestay program around Guatemala's beautiful Lake Atitlan. 50 indigenous families saw the opportunity that tourism could bring to their community. When travelers visit this community, they stay with a local family and learn about the culture. They visit their art and handicraft shops and tree planting ceremonies. They can see the pride the Mayans take in their cultural heritage. Today, Planetera has over 20 global projects. By creating sustainable initiatives, we ensure long-term protection for the most beautiful destinations on Earth and prosperity for those who call it home. Let's continue to make tourism a positive force for change. Planetera. Travel. Connect. Give back. So the Plantera Foundation. Doesn't it give you chills? And, it's and, like and that is how they it, give back. It's perfect. It's it, right. And G it, Adventures, going with them to, to not only provide lifetime experiences yeah. and, and things you're going to remember for the rest of life, but also to change people's lives I said. You in really a local are. aspect. It's, it's, it's yeah. the best. It's amazing. And I love, um, one of my clients came back and they did um, one of the tours and the company um, Planetera, they set up... Um, delivery vans and mm. um they were able to put money and they bought the vans and they have it's um women on wheels and you yeah. can look it up on their on their and on their site and it's just such a cool story so if you have a chance you know go on there look at look at their story on planetara because they really are changing people's lives and they're giving back and you know for a company to still be privately owned that's grown so huge all because this one man wanted to give back because he believes in karma and he believes that if you give back you will get back and it's not even about that. It's just he, there aren't a lot of people in this world who are so generous and so giving and who have such a vision and went for it and have grown it into this where he's not, he's not in it for making money. And he wrote a book, which I've read, and the forward is by the Dalai Lama. So that tells you something about this man. So mm -hmm. to be, you know, so well known and so you know, successful to have the forward of his book written by the Dalai Lama. It really, it really does say something about him and what he's doing. So. Well, a great company. Yeah. It starts from the leadership yeah. at the top and it really does I'll tell you what this company has that, you yeah. know, you're going to get great experiences yep. and you're not only going to have that, mm -hmm. uh, that lifetime memory for yourself, but you're yeah. going to be changing people's lives around the you world. You are, you are. Just by traveling. And uh, going, um, oh, I'm oh, sorry. No, go ahead. No, go I was going to say like, just get like some housekeeping out of the way, which I think is really amazing. This tour company, every single departure is 100% guaranteed. Um, even if everyone else cancels off and you and like you and your, you know, buddy or your wife, you're the only two left on this tour. You're still going on that tour. They do not cancel tours. If people drop out, it is 100% guaranteed. And I love being able to guarantee to my client, you are 100% going. The right. other thing is that they're offering lifetime deposits. So yes, your deposit is non-refundable with good reason because these tours are so exclusive and they're so small. If you cannot go, they're holding your deposit for a lifetime. As long as G Adventures is in business, which I'm sure will be forever, Yeah, they have your deposit on file. And I just think that because they just want to, they want you to go. They want you to experience it. So your, your deposit's not gone. And I really love that. Well, I love, that I love it. Says it's a company that is confident in the product yes. that it gives. Yeah. And they uh, want you to experience it. That's it. Yep. hundred percent. Yep. Uh, Jamie talking about housekeeping, you know, what a great company. Mm -hmm. uh, there's so many yeah. great things going on mm -hmm. with away with me travel, you know, things yep. that people can get a hold of us. Yeah. We can get you to these amazing destinations. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the yep. things of course is, uh, and if you've watched this show or heard, heard Disney Dads mm -hmm. podcast, it's the uh, Disney dads podcast cruise coming up. It's so uh, coming up sooner than we than it we is. could have ever imagined. It's one thing after another. Jamie and I are already putting some gifts together for people. I know. And, uh, it's so exciting. Lots, so lots exciting. of fun. And yeah, lots of fun stuff. Yep. But uh, you can get hold of Jamie and I at Disney Dads at AwayWithMeTravel.com. Mm -hmm. 
yep. we'll get you quotes for that, get you uh, sailing. We got a ton of great people going on that cruise. So make sure to do that. But we also have some other cruises going on too, Jamie. Yes. Uh, group cruises. Why don't you uh, fill some people in on that? Yeah, part? so we actually do have a lot of group cruises. Um, the one that's going on now is um, the Norwegian out of Miami and it's going to um, Roatan and it's doing Costa Maya. Um, Harvest Key, and that is departing June 30th, 2019. Incredible amenities. The rates are amazing, so get on that. Uh, we also have another amazing one, which is in 2020, February 22nd, 2020. Plenty of time to get your um, payments down. The rates are insane. It's about um, it's about 1,100 per person for a balcony, which is unheard of. Um, and that's awesome. That's on the Symphony of the Seas Royal Caribbean. We also have a couple of river crews um, on the Viking the Viking River Cruises that they are promoting free airfare. And they just added a new one, um, a new tour for um, D-Day. And yep. it's an emotional river cruise. They're going um, pretty much all World War II history. It is one sailing only. And I just think it's one of those, um, another one of those tours that really touches people. Doesn't matter if you're, you know, from here, from overseas, it's just one of those, one of those vacations, one of those tours that were really, you know, and it's, you know, it's, it's on Viking, which is one yep. of the most amazing river cruise companies that there is. So definitely get on that. Um, yeah, so many amazing deals. Some of these deals come across and I put them on the Facebook page, the Away With Me yep. Travel Facebook page, and I'm like, $1,700, including airfare for, for a tour in Greece. Is that right? Like, it's crazy. It's, it's crazy. Like, and it's crazy. He, they're you like just giving these up. tours away. It, they are. It's you just insane. brought it up. That's the uh, that's the Away With Me Travel Facebook page, the yep. Away With Me Travel family Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Um, the one is our business page. You're going to see all those amazing deals. The other yep. guys, come join that other, that other group. That mm -hmm. other group is so much fun. It There's is. a lot of great people in it just talking about travel, getting yep. to know each other. It's just a huge, huge Fun's opportunity yeah. to build your travel family. And that's what we want with this is for you to come and to be, not only be a part, but be an active part of your of, of the travel family over there. So make sure to come join those groups. Also do us a huge favor. Make sure to go and join our YouTube page. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure to go and, and like that page. Make sure to bookmark it, have it right there ready because that's yep. what these live videos are. Yeah, um, also, comments. if you're listening on the podcast, do us a huge favor. Go over to iTunes and give us five stars. Helps yeah. us grow the show, helps us uh, reach more people, and that way we can give more travel opportunities to more people. So thank you guys so much thank for you. all that. It's, uh, awesome. it's just great that we get to meet all these people. Yep. Uh, Jamie. So much fun, as always. Thank I know, you. So I much. love this. I really love this company. So, guys, definitely get in touch with us for more information on G Adventures. I really want you all to experience it. I don't promote companies that I do not believe in if I have not um, experienced them in some way. So, definitely, you know, get in touch with us and we'll get you on one of these G Adventures or, you know, anywhere else in the world. You so, name it, we'll send you there. We got you covered. So, yep. So, keep on traveling, guys. Jamie, thanks so much. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. See ya. This has been YDF Media Productions.